really good tag, actually. <laughs> Never mind. They still have the tag Lightning Goat as Orcane, which is still a little misleading, if I say so myself. <laughs> yeah, tiny bit. Mm. Alright, though. Mm. To run a Orcane, kind of a... Uh... Kind of an interesting matchup. I feel like you don't see this a whole lot. Yeah, this is a rare one. I feel like Hitfall was like the only... Actually, no, it wasn't even played at Hitfall. I don't know. This is a, this is a rare matchup. Yeah. The Ooh. F smash at the start. You know? If it works, it works. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there are some Ranos that would just run up and dash attack you. Uh, Lucius yeah. is not one of those Ranos, unfortunately. Lu Lucius is exactly, exactly the opposite. Oh. Unfortunate SD there. Yeah. Also, I thought we nerfed the up air one thing. Lucius was doing it just a second ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Buttons here. Good back air strings. Oh, and they don't have puddle. Yeah. Yeah. Fortunate. Really, really tough there. One of those things is like you don't usually want to recover with a Piazza Arcane, weirdly hmm. enough, but it's also like if you don't have it, it's really bad because then you can't that right. mix up. Mm -hmm. Not only that, if they're just learning as well, it's definitely just like a oh, I just need to go back to stage. Panic yeah, button, exactly. Game two here on Tempest. This is Boingo's counter pick. And yeah. I, this is. For a defensive Rano like Lucius, he is having the time of his life. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bold pick, but you know what? I respect Tempest Pickers. I, I do. I, I do respect Tempest Pickers, but it's it's definitely an interesting pick here. Ooh, yeah, getting sniped out there with the Dacus on that platform. And Lucius, once again, off to a really good start here. The double needle catching with that, and then leading into a deadly 63 combo. <laughs> that was a little silly. The parry iframes coming in clutch there. Yeah. Is so that smash in neutral? Tries to get some going with the puddle there, but no dice. Yeah. Despite Lucius's more reserved playstyle, we're still seeing them just snuff them out basically completely. Yeah. That's the thing is, like, you know, Lucius does play very slow and steady a lot of the time, but it's still a Rano, so a lot of the time when he gets going, he's still going to be able to just stay on top of you pretty reliably and just kind of hit you with all these, like, quick, uh, low knockback moves. Hmm. So, with that, Lucius can be moving on. And Fabuengo's dropping down into the loser's bracket. Mm -hmm. That's, yeah, you could totally still make that back. Mm -hmm. I, that was a solid loss, honestly, because Lucius is still a very, very solid player. Yeah, for sure. Looks up, we've got Tailsep versus Jason. I'm going to be staying with the, the frog for a little longer. Mm -hmm. This is going to be an interesting one. Because I, I feel like I've heard of Jason before. Yeah, so Jason's like an up-and-coming SoCal Rano. Um, I think one Rass a couple months ago? Maybe okay. one Rass, but I, like, I'm pretty sure, but I can't remember how long ago it was. And, uh, and Yeah. And Tailsep is definitely uh, 